YouTube, what up? It's your boy Big Reed here back live with another one for no days off. All right, everybody. We down here at the Hound's favorite spot, which is Creekside. As y'all can see, they doing some landscaping. Let's go on get into today's topic. Today's topic is going to be on that, I guess, word that everybody throws around. If you've been on those Facebook forums or you've been, I mean, you got a YouTube channel or you even scroll, I mean, you scroll through other people's YouTube. Um, comment section. Which is going to be that infant the standard when it comes to the American bully, right? That's what we're going to be talking about today is the standard. Right? Everybody throws that word around, but nobody really discusses that word. Or, 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 I mean, just talks about it in general. And the reason being, everybody, you get, I, I had people in my comment section, I mean, telling me, I mean, my dogs aren't American bullies or they aren't within the standard or blase, blase, blase. So, the question that needs to be asked before you even make that statement to somebody, what standard are you referring to? Because as everybody know, when it comes to these dogs and these registries, they're popping up everywhere. I mean, I think what is it's, it's like over 12 registries now for these dogs. But we're going to talk about two maybe three of them in general today, right? And as far as, like I said, when I'm discussing the standard, they, they, they just people just refer to it as the standard. Hey, people talking about they trying to get, uh, working on getting these dogs to the ABKC. And I mean, that's all fine and dandy. But the thing is, I mean, uh, when it comes to that, some pressure is going to have to be put on these registries to, you know what I'm saying, to get on one accord when it comes to these dogs. So let's go on and get into this, man. First of all, let's see, ABKC and the UKC, which is, I mean, two of the most popular ones, you know what I'm saying? I mean, let, let's, let, let's, the UKC first. I think the stud books are still open with the UKC because if a lot of you guys didn't know, the UKC allows the mixture of exotic blood into the American bully, which the ABKC doesn't. Some strands of blood, you, uh, certain dogs, the AKC will not register because of their blood. UKC, something completely different. UKC does not accept murals, period. Whether none show dogs that you cannot register a mural with the UKC. ABKC does accept murals. They just can't be shown in the show ring and they're registered as blots. That's the colors that you're going to get on your paperwork. All right. Um, another thing with the UKC, the UKC does not separate the American bully into classes. It's just, they look at the dog as just one dog. There's no pocket. There's no standard. There's no XL. I mean, it's just the American bully with the UKC. Obviously, we know that's not the case with the ABKC. You got pocket standards, classics. I mean, I think they brought the extreme class back. I mean, like I said, it, it's kind of, that, as that saying goes, different strokes for different folks. You even have one registry that recognizes XXLs. And you have another registry, I think I read up, they pretty much classify the XL classes as it's almost like it's his own breed of dog. They they separate it from the rest of them. And there's another registry where you can't even breed an XL dog to a pocket. Uh, they won't register the dog. So it's, like I said, you get on these forums, you look at a lot of these breeding banners, man, a lot of these dogs. I mean, some of them, you can clearly see they're breeding dogs to, like I said, to an American Bulldog, for example. I mean, the, especially the Johnson line. I mean, because of the short snout, the round head, you know what I'm saying? That that bully look. That that's the that's what the Johnson 
the Johnson type American Bulldog is a very bully looking dog. But when it comes to the standard, man, like I said, the pressures are going to have to be put on these registries. I mean, for you guys that get in the comment section saying your dog not roll here, the one with the collar on, I done told y'all a thousand times before, she is not a part of my breeding program. And every dog that you see out here, some of these dogs are not a part of my breeding program. I just take care of them. It's like some of you guys be like, you got too many dogs. Like, I mean, it's affecting your pockets or something. I'm buying the dog food. I'm, I mean, I'm paying for the medication, the health care and all that. So how you going, how do you tell somebody they have too many dogs? I mean, it's like you telling somebody they got too many cars. <laughs> all my dogs are healthy, vibrant and well taken care of. So, but the thing is back to this standard, man, it's, 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 uh, there's no set standard. Honestly, there's not. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I look at these dogs that they're more of a designer dog. Because when you, like I said, the, the standard varies from registry to registry. It does. The, the, I mean, somebody, some, somebody's going to say, no, it doesn't, but take the time out to read them. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of registers that don't, don't recognize the different classes of American Buddy, like I, but the UKC is one of them. It's another one that's out there. And you still have some classes that that have pretty the stud books are still open with them. You know what I mean? Pretty much meaning as far as single registry registering dogs are using other bull breeds to mix into the American bully, it is still accepted. So as far as it comes, when when you say the standard, uh, I mean you get into I mean you, you comment on somebody about bringing to the standard. Please reference to what standard, what, what registry you're referring to as far as when it comes to their standard. Because, like I said, it varies from registry to registry. Like I said, a lot of these topics, when it comes to this dog, when it comes to this breed, a lot of guys don't want to talk about it. Because, I mean, as far as a lot of them look at it, it's going to hurt their bottom line. I mean, when I say it's going to hurt their pockets. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, like I told y'all from the beginning, money's not my main focus with these dogs. It's the purpose of creating my bloodline. Like I said, we, we, I got a lot more to get into you guys. Cause I know I did that live stream about stepping away from the breeding game, but a couple of things have changed around the house. I mean, as far as it goes between me and my wife, my, which who is also my business partner. I mean, we had a discussion, so I got to get y'all updated on that. But like I said, I just wanted to refer when, when people talk about the standard of these dogs, you know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's a lot that needs to be brought. It's a lot of stuff that needs to be brought up, a lot of stuff that needs to be cleared up when it comes to these dogs. You know what I'm saying? Especially, I mean, the breed as a whole, because like I said, there's, there's no, as far as getting to the ABKC, I mean, as far as my opinion goes right now, it, it, it sounds like a joke.